Hello! Testing one, two, three. Yep, we got some audio. We appear to have a picture on the screen. And I've just got a notification on my phone to say that the stream is live. It takes one minute and 20 odd seconds later to come up on the screen. <clears throat> so I guess everyone's going to Hey! Antoinette, hey there, buddy. How's my bee buddy doing this morning? I've probably pulled you away from an ex's stream, haven't I? I've been listening to him this morning. Okie dokie. Right. Doing something very different this morning. I've got a little bit of maintenance work to do for my world. And I thought, well, you know what? Let's just hop on here, do a quick cheeky stream for an hour. See what we get done. And that's mainly because I'm working today. So I'm working from about lunchtime round till ooh, really late tonight. Um, I worked till about half past seven, eight o'clock it could be even tonight. Then I won't get home late. But ah, it's good to see you're doing okay. You was in extra stream. You can probably listen to both of them at once now. I've cheated and done that once before. I've actually been streaming and I've got his headphone in my ear. So I can hear what he's doing. Anyway, you probably can't see very much of me at the moment. <clears throat> that's because you're probably just looking at my desktop. And as I say, that's because we're going to be doing something completely different. I'm doing all right. A little bit snivelly this morning, but it's probably because I've been out in the cold and, and stuff. But I'm not too bad. So I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, tweaks and stuff. Oh yeah, this happened. Yeah, we, we, had a, we appeared to have um, had a baby and he grew up. So that's a big success. And I sneaked down here and I, I stuck in another bed while I was off stream. And that also gave me the opportunity to put in a little carrot patch here. So hopefully Mr. Farmer here will um, grow some more carrots and uh, distribute them about. And who knows, we might get a fourth baby in here. <clears throat> You're nervous you have an interview with Dan over an hour. With Dan? Who's Dan? Which Dan is that? Oh, for your um, your interview like you did with me. Right, okay. So we're going to leave this guy. I'll tell you what we'll do. What we'll do with Mon, because you don't know I've got more than one player, do you? So let's sort out Mon. And should we use X's... Um, Oh, with HG Dan. Oh, cool. Hello there, Chris. How you doing? Ah, I see. Dan's helping you out as well. He's a good guy. Right, so I'm going to show you this. This is the uh, Exuma. Where's my chat thing? Problem is I'm running all my screens the other way around to what I normally do. There we go. I've got to keep chat up on the screen. So this is the Exuma key clicker thing. And I've used a different screen to what he's got on his. So this allows me to do some AFK mob farming for my player. And I'm gonna do that actually. Hello guys, morning. Morning. I'm gonna send him down here to do this while we're doing a bit of maintenance stuff. Thing is, he's probably gonna be really noisy doing this, isn't he? So let's let's get rid of a, let's get rid of some of these guys. There we go. And what we do is, so I've got the little key clicker thing set up. So in this, you select the window that you want to point at, and um, which you did at the beginning, and then you select AFK mob farming, which is now enabled, and it tells you the options there that you can use. And then you carefully position your mouse where you want it to go. So I'm going to hit these people with... That was clever. That was an invisible zombie drop there. <clears throat> ah, Dan's all right. He's, he's a nice guy. 
So you sort of point the, the, the X where you want to be hitting the mobs. And then I'm going to actually alt tab away so that my mouse is off. Ugh, where is it? Over here. Off the screen. And then I'm going to press control, alt and M. And then my player will just sit there hitting the mobs. Collecting stuff. And I can do other stuff on the screen. Yeah, Dan's really nice. He's pretty down to earth. Um, you'll be fine with him. Right, so I'm just going to stop that for a second because what I want to do first is just open the land here. So if you don't know, this is how you can allow other players to connect to your world when you're playing on a single world. So I'm just going to open that up there like that. I seem to have placed a torch. That's a bit odd. An odd thing to do. Let me get the torch out of there. Wait, what are you doing with that torch? Put that torch... And you've taken the water bottle away as well. Oh, for goodness sake. You guys, get out. Out, out, out. Out. That's supposed to be there. there go. Sometimes, mobs are a pain. Mind you, I think it was me that placed the torch. There we go. Right, I'll leave my hand empty. Right, there we go. Right, let's get in position. Like so, and tab off the screen. Prefer to do it. Uh, there's my mouse. And M. There we go. Right, he'll do that. <coughs> yeah, the zombies love the torch for some reason. Right, so in the background, what I can do is I can now run another version of Minecraft. And I can go in as my other player, which is called the Mixor. And this is mainly because I want the player Mon PJC to stay as like not using creative mode or anything like that, and I want him to collect his achievements and things. So in this window, just go into multiplayer, and there's my world. And I use the Mixor as like my administrative account to go into the to the game. There we go. Well, we can now watch Mon PJC killing zombies. There we go. So I can use this count to do a little bit of work. And keep an eye on other things as well. We can go into uh, spectator mode. And then we can sort of like check out what's been going on. So there we go. This is the uh, the mob farming full action. The mobs are coming in around there. They get washed along the, the tunnel, up the tube. They go over the top. Drop down so they're on like really low hearts. And then end up dying there. And then occasionally, if you get a baby come through, I don't know if it, I'm going to be lucky enough to get a baby zombie come through. I can hear one around somewhere. I've still got zombies spawning in other areas, like that lot down there. I mean, look at that lot. It's a whole blooming convention. So we really need to do some sorting out, some lighting up. But the baby zombies will come through the water stream and because their hitbox is quite small they'll fall past this post and you can see there's a block of water on some lava there lava block which will pull the baby zombie down and they'll die in the bottom there yes I did see your art that's very good I'd be interested though how did you do it what program did you use to make that that was pretty cool Right, so, we need to do a little bit of work here. So I'm going to put this guy in creative. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn the sound off completely. And 
and we'll go into my we'll go back into Mon's account and we'll silence this one as well because I can't be doing with all the zombie noises there we go a bit of peace and quiet that's better isn't it you can hear me talking now okay right come on then get back to work there we go Mon's now busy doing that uh where's that and that i will just shrink this screen down because we want to be able to see what we're doing so we'll just leave mon in the background there playing and then we've got this screen here excellent so that's cool right so next little job we want to do so the first thing i want to do is oh just going to reach out what did you think of the art mate yeah i thought that was really good uh um let me check i don't know the night don't know the name of what oh i see the name of the program it's from paint paint oh okay is that uh on pc or is that a an application that's like on an ipad or something that'd be interesting because my um halo is a massive fan of doing artwork and stuff <coughs> So I wanted to talk about data packs and how they work. So current, oh, oh my God, I just hit a villager by mistake. Oh my God, that was dangerous. Uh, let's face the other way. Oh dear, probably proper upset him. So when we make uh, sticky pistons, I was talking about this in stream. We were talking about making sticky pistons with um, with honey rather than with slime. So at the moment you use uh, slime balls. Hang on, let's just, let's just get a whole bucket load of this stuff, shall we? But what I want to be able to do is make it with honey. And I thought the best way to do it, because you could use just a bottle of honey, which would be quite easy to collect it's on the app store oh okay or oh, you could use honeycomb but these you can get just by clicking on a hive whereas a honey block you actually have to do a lot more work to get a honey block to actually make it and i can't actually remember the crafting recipe for a honey block but uh let's have a look so if we do a honey block that's right so it uses four bottles of honey so to get for a honey block that's right yeah you were right Chris it's four bottles I can't remember if it's four or nine so to make a honey block you need to be able to get glass you need to convert the glass or the, sorry the sand into glass and then the glass into bottles you need to get a hive running you need to pacify the hive and then use uh, that to collect the honey bottles. And you can't just get honey bottles, early. you don't get like loads at a time, you just get one at a time, I think. So you've actually got to do a fair bit of background crafting to get a single honey block. Whereas slimes, obviously you've got to, you've got to work the other way. Although it's a drop, you've got to go out and you've got to kill the slimes or be lucky enough to find them. Uh, pandas sometimes drop them. But there's a fair bit of work in doing that just for a mob drop. Whereas I thought just getting a bottle of honey and putting it on the front of a slight sticky piston would be a bit too easy. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to make a crafting recipe where you can use a piston and a honey block to make a sticky piston. That's how we're going to do that. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you how to do that. So I have a, a website here, which is called uh, craftingthedestruction.ca. So it's Canada's Canada site, and they've misspelt with letters numbers on the end there for the name of it. But this website allows you to craft anything and create the files to create anything. However, it's only done to 114 he hasn't well, this person hasn't updated it to 115 as yet 
and you can do crafting recipes for all these different things. So we're gonna, gonna go with crafting a normal crafting bench. And I'll show you how this works. So you take the, the object that you want to craft, like that, like a piston, and we drop it in there. And then you take another object or whatever objects you want to do to put in here. So let's say, for example, I wanted to make um, a particular object like that. And let's say I wanted to be able to make a jack-o'-lantern from a piston and a torch. Right, so it's completely crazy. So you can make absolutely anything you want from anything. So here we've got that. So they're the option, that's the objects in the art, the result that you want. And you can get it to make more than one on the output. And here we can have shapeless, which basically means these can be placed anywhere on there. Or you can have exactly where placed. So that means they've always got to be placed in that scenario like that so <clears throat> I'm actually gonna say uh, well exactly where place means on that grid so I'm not gonna tick either of those because I just want them placed like that in any position all over the screen so the output recipe is a crafting recipe and we'll just do uh, example for now just so that it's got a name and then what happens down here is we get this JSON file, which is the thing you put into your world that adds the the mod, the, the, the change that you want in the game. And you can see in here, it says it's a shaped crafting, which means these two always have to appear one above the other. And it contains a torch and it contains a piston. And you can see each of those items is given a, a key reference, like a hash and a P. And then here it shows you the pattern. So it just shows one is above the other. If this was exactly where placed, you'll see it would fill the rest of that grid in with empty spaces. So they always have to go in the same place. And if it was shapeless, it just lists the items that you're going to put in there. So that's what we want, one above the other like that. <clears throat> Okay, so, and there's the result. That's what we want coming out of it at the very end. Now, you can then download that file and put it in your world. Download the data pack zip file. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take a piston, and because this is 114, or not 115, we don't have honey that we can put in there. So I'm gonna leave a torch there, but we don't want a jack-o'-lantern. What we actually want is a sticky piston. There we go, one sticky piston, like so. And here, we'll change its crafting name, so it's called something completely different. And in this case, we're going to call it uh, crafting recipe. Uh, oh, where did the H go? honey piston like so there we go and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to allow this to create that as it is obviously if you had the items you wanted to put in here that'd be fine and you just save the data file and put it in your world which I'll show you in a minute but we're gonna to have to go in and tweak this so I'm now going to download this data pack there we go and just grab it off my computer here. And put this somewhere on, oh, actually I can just do this. I can just drop it on the desktop here. Like so. And if I, because I wanna tweak this, I'm going to extract the files here which is probably put them on my other desktop. Yep. I'm just gonna grab them and drag them over here. Bring my chat back up. You're very quiet out there, chat. Are, are you still awake? Have you fallen asleep? 
It's just not what you're expecting. Okay, so you get two files like this and we're interested in going into the data file, crafting, recipes, crafting, recipe, honey, piston. That's the one we want. I'm gonna open that with notepad. And in here, we can see that file that we were talking about. And we need to replace this torch here. And that's why I've got this open because if we come over here, we can actually see, oh, you're all still awake, just listening, cool. Um, we can see here we have honey, the, the name underneath the honey block, what it is, so it's Minecraft colon honey underscore block. And that's the word that we want to put in here. It's a torch. So if I now look and check, that now matches the same word, honey block. Okay, so we just tweaked that to make it do what we want it to do. And I just save that file, I can close that. That file's now been updated. So I can close all of that. And I don't think there's anything in here I need to change. No, it just says where the data pack was created from, that's all. <coughs> so there we go. So this zip file we can get rid of. And then I'm going to put this into a new zip file. So we do send to compressed zip folder. And it's disappeared off my screen somewhere. Oh, there it is. There we have data back you have 2200 twitch points wow I don't know what you would do with that I'm just checking yep that's all saved properly so what we now do here is we're just going to change the name of this so that I know what it is to a honey piston like so and now what we need to do is go into a world and test this so mixor is going to there's there's mon down there still working away so we're going to drop out of here very quickly uh, helps if i press the right key doesn't it so we disconnect cancel single player and let's go into my redstone world to test this, shall we? You don't want to use them up yet. I can understand that. Right, so we now have a data pack that we can do things with. So to get to that, what we do is open this window back up, and go into your options, resource pack, and then open resource pack folder. This opens this folder here where our resource packs are put. <clears throat> Which is great because this is all the resource packs. This is the textures that you put on your world. But what we actually want to do is change a crafting recipe within the game itself. So I go back to Minecraft and I go to my saves folder where my worlds are. Because this is only per world that it's actually changing. And what was this world called? I can't remember. So this is my redstone world. So if I just exit from that. And I think if I do edit the details, it tells me where... Oh yeah, open the world folder. There we go. So it saves redstone. So I can actually get rid of that one and do it from here. So in this saves redstone world, we go into data packs and all I need to do is drop that in there like that. Just keep that open for now. Cancel. And we're gonna reopen this. And now with any luck, we should be able to make what we wanna do. 
so we said that we needed a piston so let's go over here and let's grab a piston like so and we're going to take four honey blocks I'm going to go a crafting bench over here no what is going on with that car who drove that over there was that you did you drive that into there did you fall out of there no, nope, there's three of them up there. You're just pottering about, are you? Okay. Uh, crafting bench. Let's, I said to my English friend that she needs to subscribe to your YouTube channel, and she did. Oh, that's fantastic. Very exciting. I did notice that my numbers are going up. I definitely need more people on there. Right, so we take four honey blocks. And we get our honey piston like that. And it doesn't show up there at the moment. But in theory, if I do this, I then get a sticky piston. Woohoo! So it did actually work. So we put a piston in and a honey block and our little design actually created a new sticky piston. And you see it's actually unlocked a recipe now as well. So if I actually put in here, sticky piston you can see it actually is showing my way of actually making it it's probably because it's my option but you can still make it the other way as well so you can use both options for making the sticky piston which is really cool there we have a working sticky piston so now all I need to do is quit this world and go back to the mon pjc world actually i can do it this way can't i because if i click on that edit open the world folder again go into data pack and you can see these are all the data packs i've been adding there's actually one i've got to take out of here as well because uh, i've got to get the the anti-creeper anti one, that's got to come out because it allows... Oh yeah, well let me do it while the world's loaded. So we're going to take a copy of that. <coughs> Paste that into there, like so. And get rid of all of these for now. We'll leave that open for now and then we'll go back to we'll stop Mon from doing his uh, killing all the zombies like so and we'll just quit the game here because those data packs are loaded still. Where's the folder? There it is. So we want that to reload. I think, can I delete that now? No, I can't at the moment. So I've got to quit the game completely. Let's quit that one. Cancel, quit that one. I can delete that. That's all done. Yep, it works. See? I is clever. Well, I say I'm clever anyway. So we'll restart Minecraft because it keeps the files loaded in its memory. That's why you have to like come out completely. So we'll reopen on PJC's world. And he's all the way over here on this screen. Single player Steam Craft. There he is, with all these little friendly zombies. Let's just shrink that down for now. And we'll reopen the land world there. Just leave the screen like that for now. And then we'll go in as the mixor.
as you can see some of these little things that you do take a little bit of time to just put into the world and get working and this is a lot of the, the background stuff that we're doing when we're building servers etc to get all this stuff to work yeah don't worry you do what you need to do So now, uh, we'll just leave Mon there like that. Do, 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 do. That was all working. I can close that now. Back to game. And we'll just check and prove that in this world, we can still do the same thing. So we'll put we'll put a piston in there a honey block and there we have a sticky piston so now in this world we can create sticky pistons using honey which is really cool that's nice simple way of doing things these guys don't look that excited and mons currently stand staring at a load of zombies there we go so that took me, what, half an hour? Yeah, okay, I, I knew what I was gonna be doing. So it wasn't necessarily a massive job to do, but that's how we add little data packs and stuff to the world and get things to work. So we can take this guy out of the world now. And we can put Mon back to work. Should we get some sounds back again? I think I had this on about 40. Anyone out there wants to let me know if that sounds okay. There's a chicken. There we go. Oh, I hear a baby zombie dying under there. Okay. right cool I am very happy hello guys I will remain the only one still watching <laughs> your big brain power is so high all good mate yeah I'm all right I'm doing all right it's just these little things that I want to add and tweak in the game knowing that it's gonna make the server run better there's a bit of carrot sharing going on there So that's excellent. It's all worked. Very pleased with that. Uh, right, so. That was actually quicker than I thought it was going to be. So that's quite nice. I'm going to go back and do a little bit of maintenance work around the farm and the house and just check and see what's going on there. Because what I want to happen is... I want these guys to breed up at least another another villager and then I'm going to take those two out so that hopefully these ones will stay here and we won't lose them because I have lost villagers quite a lot in the past that can be a bit problematic oh what's going on here oh then he fell off. I'm going to be doing that. Me dying on streams, never good. Uh, what am I doing here? Why am I carrying steak there like that? I don't need to do that. So, I'd actually, what well, something comes good. So, one of the things I want to do, and the reason for this, is because killing all those zombies down there is getting me a lot of zombie flesh. And it's actually quite sad killing lots of cows to make books. So one of the one of the tweaks that I have in the game is to convert zombie flesh into leather. And you do that by cooking it. So it means that there's another little process that you need to be able to do stuff. Wow, look at that. That is a lot of, that's a lot of growing. 
wonder if there's actually bit I don't think there are bees in there yet. Wow, that's impressive. Okay, yeah, this definitely needs a bit of work. It must be harvest time. Yeah, because some of those villagers we can uh, trade wheat with, I think. Wow, that was that was seriously impressive. I didn't expect to come up here and find all that. Okay, uh, let's go and get in a bed. They're the bees. Got a whole list of bee names to sort out at some point. Always close the door behind you. Okay, just stop creepers coming in behind you while you're not looking. Can't be having that. Don't let the bed creepers bite. Yeah, I like that. Very good. Right, let's replant our field. A farmer's work is never done. Especially mine, because I keep missing spots. There we go. I'll have a massive field of wheat in no time. I guess there's something I would consider doing if she's having like fields where the farmers are like growing stuff. I like the aesthetic side of playing the game where you can make it look like a real world rather than just you look at some of the um, stuff like Psycraft where they just make loads of automated machines it's all about the science behind the game. I think that that's pretty cool and everything, don't get me wrong, but I think it's nicer if it actually looks like a real world that's functioning. Right, so there's loads of seeds and we've got quite a lot of, yeah, it could just be over, yeah, I think you're exactly right, it's overkill because it just, just, what are you going to do with all those materials? It's all like a functioning farm and a functioning area and stuff. So we've got loads of carrots again. So the carrots we were using with the villagers to get them to breed. This is obviously one of the advantages of going AFK for a large number of hours. Is all your stuff grows while you're not looking. These honey farms look happy. So I don't have any glass or any bottles, so that's something I might have to sort out to get my own sticky piston thing going. Pop. That's generic bee. I'm glad the generic bee is, is surviving. You haven't got a name. Okay, that's fine. Uh, have I got any more flowers on me? I haven't got any more flowers on. I've got, I've got a lot of carrots. That's pretty good going. So we could go and trade that wheat with the farmer. And see whether he would like any of that. Oh yeah, I was showing you about uh, rotten flesh, wasn't I? Another one of my tweaks. So I think this is actually a vanilla tweak add-on. That's in the game. Yeah, so I just chuck that in there. You can see the furnace kicks in. And you can see that will now convert that to leather. Which is a really useful, you know, form of like recycling. Because that way you're just getting a good supply of leather and we're not killing loads and loads of cows. So, you know, it's just an automated way of doing it. When I make farms that just don't fit, I just make them as far away or underground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
No more cow torture. I think that's true. I mean, yes, you probably need it for food, but I mean, I could almost try and run a, a vegetarian or a vegan farm, couldn't I? <laughs> With all this stuff. Right, have I got any more wheat laying around? I've got some glass bottles there. Um, don't think there's anything else I could probably trade with them at the moment. Certainly don't have any gems or anything. Or books or stuff. Because that's the other thing, trading books with villagers, making... Uh, make gold carrots. Yeah. Where do we get the gold from? Gold farm would come from killing... Oh, we got visitors. Incoming. Look at that. They're, they're staring me out now. Have some milk. Yeah, well, I've got no village here at the moment, but I do need to get another another thing to make a, a milk bottle so that I don't end up raiding my villages when I go down there. That's the problem. Are they close enough to see me yet? Oops. As long as they're not going to kill my bees, I don't want, like, a, a stray shot. See if I can lure them over here. I don't think they can see me out there. Um. Oh, hello. Can I help you? Oh, that's rude. You can do one. Thanks very much. Love your banner. Oh, he's got an enchanted one. That looks fancy. See, you're completely missed. Oi. Oh, I'm getting wrecked. Two. What have you got? Die. Nothing. You dropped nothing. Really? What happened was pants. Was it? Oh, look at that. I just lost a few hearts. Okay. Right. Take the banner. Let's go get some milk. I was hoping he was going to like drop that then. I thought, oh, that'd be really cool. Thanks. This is the only reason to have cows around now. Right, so we have another banner. So we have to go and put this up. This is an ominous banner. I wonder if you could make something out of ominous banners. Like a craft bean recipe. Like if you get nine ominous banners, you could make something from them. Look, see, I've been collecting. I've got a few now. <laughs> okay, so... Does that now look like he's got a really funny nose on the front? It does, doesn't it? It looks like he's got a really dodgy nose on the front. That's really... F <laughs> oh, I like that. That's funny. Okay. Didn't get any heads off them either. Oh, that's disappointing. Right. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. We're going to go and trade with the villager before we were rudely interrupted. Rhino Pillager. Oh, that's cool. I like keeping the game as vanilla as, as I can, but I do like doing little funny things where you could do, like, random skins on villagers and the odd one has, like, a... A blue nose or something. Just to add a bit of humour in. Actually, we haven't seen the um, the Christmas stuff come into the game yet. The chests normally all change. I think that's about the first time I've walked down that where I haven't actually like, taken damage. Makes a change for me. So I guess this counts as a village down here. Hello. Right. Yep, hello. You're friendly. Right, Sam. 
you would like 15 of these. Look at that. I'll give you 15. I'm going to get an emerald. Oh, oh. No, I know. It's exciting. Right. How many can I get you leveled up? Yeah, I can. We now have a leveled up. That's it. Do your little farty thing. Four days till Christmas. Yeah, I know. Uh, four days till Christmas. So they have time to change things if they wish. Well, I guess so. Be nice if these guys wore Christmas hats. Right, Sam, what do you now offer? Oh, pumpkins. Pumpkins for emerald. I've got a lot of pumpkins, actually. And you're offering emeralds for, for apples. That's a really rubbish trade. I've got... I didn't say a thing. Right, what about you? What do you do? Um, paper. Yeah, could do paper. Could go and get a load of paper. And... Excuse me, I'm looking at his traits. Don't get your face in the way. Bob, right. Um, Frostwalker. Well, that's a pants one, isn't it? So I think I'll just go and get a load of paper and we'll lever him. Oh, they've all gone to sleep. Okay. That's nice. Right. Um, I should probably sleep as well. I can only sleep when it's night time. Why are they all in bed then? They do this all the time. Let's go and get a load of... Oop. This way. This way. It, 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 it. Oh. 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 Um. What happened there? I'm getting really bad at getting off this ladder. I really need to put a proper one in. So, paper. And pumpkins. There was a lot of love for pumpkins there, wasn't there? Should have changed the name of this title for the stream now. Mind you, I'm not going to be on for very much longer. Got another 15 minutes or so, then I've got to get ready to go to work. I'm not surprised I'm not going to get many viewers today in stream because uh, we've Exuma streaming. Everyone's going to be over there. They're going to be going, Mon? Mon who? Ha. We're going to watch the big streamer. Hello, bees. Do, 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 do. I'm glad you're here, though. It's important for my ratings on Twitch. Get as many people as I can. <laughs> Uh, right, so we've got that. Um, I haven't got much else for making paper with. Have I got any paper laying around? No. Don't think so. I don't think I've stuck anything anywhere else. No, right, let's go down here. And grab what we've got in here. Seven, is that it? Well, that's not very much, is it? Why do you think I'm still here? I think uh, because I'm such a fantastic streamer that I'm, I'm way more entertaining. Hello, Peggy. Oh, it's very nice to see you in chat there, Peggy. Oh, we've got 15 of those up there. Oh, there we go. That'll do. How the devil are you, pegs? We're in for a bit of villager trading going on here. Actually, while I, while I think of this, because now you've got VIP status, uh, it, it does a weird thing where it removes your uh, status. So I'm just going to re-add your... Your mod status there, Peggy. Pegasus. You got such a difficult name to spell. Why did? Why is it so difficult? Mind you, you always pick strange names, and I can never spell them. And you're not Med, are you? You're Mod. You're going to be a Mod. There we go. I think. There we go. 
It's part of my account security. Yeah, I don't surpri I'm not surprised. Can't spell your name. No one can get in with it. At least with Mon PJC, it's a unique name, but you know, people can't aren't going to use it. There's only one. I'm just about to go shopping. Yep. Well, I'm coming offline in about ten minutes because I've got to go to work. And I can imagine working in a shop today is going to be hell. It's going to be absolutely nuts. The amount of people that are going in. Apparently they had a really high trade figures yesterday. And I can imagine today it's going to be like crazy as well. Right, so we've got some villagers uh, breeding going on down here. But basically what I did was get a little zombie mob spawner and then I've been like filtering out. They drop down here, very classic, open the piston, let the zombie villagers through and then convert them. We've got two of them and they've now bred and we now have these guys who are very happy. Who wants some pumpkins? Pumpkins? You, Sam. Right. One. Two. Three. Doesn't he sound really happy? Four. Five. Six. I know it's awesome, isn't it? I haven't got anything else to trade with you now. Uh, speak fast like an auctioneer and you should really overwhelm the hordes of Costa. Yeah, that's true. Oh, you upgraded again. Oh, that's nice. It didn't even get to the full level there. And, oh, so now you want them. Okay. Who wanted paper? You wanted paper, didn't you? Paper, right. Wow, 19 for one emerald. Do you, do you know how long it took me to make that machine down there, making all that? You don't? Oh, thanks. No, you don't do any work, do you? Right, what about Goldie Pants over here? Oh, he makes it. Ooh, cookies. Wish my knowledge and skill levels had a progress bar for me. <laughs> yeah, I think we should be like The Sims, where we get <laughs> little progress bars of things over our heads so that we know what we're doing. That'd be quite funny. What is this guy doing down here? Look. Look at him down there. He's like, arr, arr. Right. Um, I'll bite. No, I don't want to bite apples. I want cookies. Give me the cookies. I want cookie. Oh, can't get any more cookies. I want more cookies. I'm being a cookie monster. Oh, I'm stacking out on cookies here. There we go. Upgrade. Come on. Do your little farty thing. There we go. <laughs> My status dime would be consistently red and spinning aggressively. <laughs> I feel like that when I'm in a shop. Bob, see? You could have upgraded like um, Mr. Emerald Pants here. And, you know. Right, what have you got now? Suspicious Stew. Really? No, not happening. We're not buying suspicious stew. I'll go and get some melons. But that's all you're getting. Mind you, we would upgrade if I... Mm. How much for a suspicious stew? Well, oh, it does upgrade quite quickly with them, so... I do want to like... Oh! Love is in the air. I saw some hearts there. Did he upgrade again? Their love? Dude, does anyone want some carrots? There we go. Anyone? Yeah, I know you want, like, to give me a book, but... Your book's pants. Does anyone want them carrots? Look, I picked them. Anyone? You want carrots? You're picking them up. You? Carrots? Carrots? 
Look, have all, have all the carrots. Look. Stop throwing carrots back at me. What you doing? Same is the confirmed dinner lady. Yeah, with suspicious stew. Yeah. It's the sort of thing you probably get at university. Is there going to be a baby? Dudes, come on. You've got enough carrots. Make more baby. False breeding <laughs> of some of villages with carrots. Eat the carrots. Is this stream te technically a... Um, <laughs> is this stream technically PG? Can I say it's like... <laughs> Carrots are a villager's uh, aphrodisiac or something. Does that work? See, Bob likes the carrots. You haven't got a name. Try, try in here with you guys. Keep sharing the carrots. Because they only... Carrot-assisted reproduction. <laughs> I see nothing... N oh yeah, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Yeah, true. Look, I'm trying really hard here with the carrots. Is it because I'm standing too close to them? It's probably because I'm standing in here with them, isn't it? Look, I'm chucking the carrots everywhere. Woo! Oh, 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 it's night time. Hang on. Let's go sleep. Let's let's just pretend we don't know what's going on around there. Hi, uh, uh, oh dear, I'm terrible with these names. Uh, Hermaphobe. What the heck is that word, Peggy? I have no idea what that said. Is that Luke? Oh, hi, Luke. We are just trying to uh, breed villagers with carrots. There's a sentence I thought I'd never say. Anyone else for carrots? No? I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave them a minute and I'm going to go and get some more pumpkins. See if that helps with the trading stuff. And I'll leave them with their carrots to do their reproduction thing. <laughs> oh dear. There's something very wrong about Minecraft in some ways, I think. Oh, I can't even get out of here now. Carrot obsessed villagers. It's weird. Herm a road digits. Herm a road I don't know what that. Which way am I facing? That way. I have, I still don't know what that is. You're far too educated, Peggy. I don't know where you get these long words. I've told you before. Don't say words that I can't spell. Which is the majority of the English language. <laughs> yep, desk and head. Yep, what did you expect? You know me of old. You know the ways of the Mon PJC. <laughs> the craziness is real. Uh, pumpkins. Uh, nothing. I don't think there's anything else in there. I can. Oh, there's some wheat. I'll take some more wheat and see if I can do a bit more trading with that. As for what's his face, I'm not trading that stuff. What did I come around here for? Don't know. I've got pumpkins. Uh, melons. Is it four? No, obviously not. Wow, melons are expensive. Really? Damn, that's expensive. Let's get rid of the suspicious stew. Right, we've got a melon, we've got some pumpkins. Um, oh, do you like my my rhino one? That's awesome. That's so funny. Uh, that goes in there. We haven't got any more paper, so we'll ditch the paper for now. This stuff should be enough for the getting them going wait can you give them villagers cookies no they won't eat cookies what 
I'm now going to be walking around eating cookies in this game for God knows how long. Oh, some more of these. Don't mind if I do. They're worth an emerald each, apparently. <coughs> and we'll do this little bit of trading, and that'll probably be me then. Do 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 do. So, Peggy, when are we going to get you back playing Minecraft? We need to get you back in game. Mind you, I'm not sure about that. You normally like blow me up and kill me and do funny things behind my back and prank me all the time. So I don't know if I should let you back in. Or I should be encouraging you anyway. Uh, potato. Oh, actually, I think one of them wanted potatoes, didn't he? We got any? Oh, I've got some more wheat in there. Um. Oh, some more carrots. Why not? Let's just like give them as many carrots as you can. Uh, Curse book of vanishing. That was really unhelpful. Right. Okay. Hello. Anyone had any babies while I wasn't looking? No. Right. You. Can I trade anything with you? Uh, no. Right. Sam. Hello, Sam. Right. So you like these. Has that made you upgrade? Mm, no. Okay. That didn't make you upgrade. Uh, this, this, this will do it. Look, you'll love these. There we go. Do your little thing. There we go. Is he diamond now? Oh, look at that. He is a diamond villager. I know you're excited, aren't you? Everyone in chat's like, woohoo. Huh? Oh, look at these. Now, that's that's good quality. That's what I call good game. Right, can you take any more wheat? Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah. Take some wheat. Pog. I don't know what pog means. I'm a, I'm a bit like... Oh, nine potatoes, not 20. Okay. I don't always know these, these acronyms for it. Right, you're off shopping. I, um, yeah, I'm going to work as well now. Thank you for popping by, Peggy. It's really nice to see you in chat. I'll uh, give you a ring at some point. Okay, so. Um, what should we have? Should we have... Because these have got, like, really high quality. Let's, let's have them. Because glistening melons you can use for... Actually, I'm going to make three glistening melons because I can use them for um, potions and stuff. And the rest, 21 carrots. Oh, yes. That was a serious... Look, you are over there, Bob, with your rubbish frost walking boots and paper for an emerald. And Sam over here is killing it. See, this is this is what you got to do with the whole trade thing. Not that stuff that you've been doing. Right. Let's machine gun this lot with. Oh no, that's my shovel. My that's mine. I don't give you that. Right. Let's shower you with carrots. We. All the carrots. It's the carrots dream. There we go. Pick up all the carrots. There we go. Have you got them all? Good. Right. Now. Do it. One, two of you. Get on with it. There we go. Right. I'm standing over here out of the way. Because I know they don't like watching. We're going to get success. I can feel it coming in. It. What do you mean you're upset? Get on with it. You've got plenty of carrots, the pair of you. Sort yourselves out. Breed, goddammit. We need babies. 
It's the one with no job. He's the, he seems to be keen. Do they have to have a job? Shall I... Have I got wood over here? I've got a slab. And I've got five of them. Six. Do they need a job? I don't know whether they need a job. I could sort of just make... Um, no, I don't think they need a job. I'd just like make another... They don't need a job. Okay. What other profession could I make uh, while I'm here? Because I can't think of... A loom needs string. Would a loom be any good to me? A loom villager right now? Uh, it's just not really. Wool and stuff. Um, I could do with like a fletching table? Nah. I think actually a blast furnace would be. A cartographer. Did I have some bits of paper? Blast furnace. Yeah, I did think of that. Stone cutter's not that great. I think you might be right. Mm. Smithing table. Yeah, that's the one, isn't it? So it's two iron and four logs. I um, think I had that, didn't I? Oh yeah, I can just do that. There we go. Right, that's been up of that there. You'll climb out, won't you? I'm going to go and put that in the corner. There we go. Dink. You. Wear patch. Get job. You. Yes, you. Well. Fine. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Go sleep then. Right. I'm going to stop after this. See, just for you, Chris, I've put one in. I'll sleep in a second now. Really? Come on. Oh. Here we go. The excitement's killing me. Look, you've got a bed and a workstation. You, you can do it. He can path fine to that, can't he? You know what? I'm going to make the ceiling a bit higher. So I'm not going to put, I'm going to leave that there like that because I don't want them standing on it and dropping on there, on the carrots. Are they, these guys are winding me up. Why are you, why are you not, oh he's a tall smith now, when did that happen? I thought they, but has he changed his uniform? Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Stone at... Sam, you're the only one with an income. Right, that's it. Ah, oh, no, I won't be late for work. I need to go. I'm getting carried away. Uh, thank you. Uh, let's not wave anything dangerous at anyone. Um, thanks very much for popping in and seeing me, guys. Uh, sorry this is a really short uh, stream this morning, but I do need to get to work. I am planning to do a proper stream tomorrow when I know what time... And I'll be on for like a couple of hours or so. So thanks very much, everyone. See you later. Bye.